our pencil. So get your pencil. And we're going to draw out our baby koala and baby sloth. Okay, so you can't get much cuter than that. So we need a circle head for our koala. I'm going to draw light. I mean, I'm going to draw dark. You're going to draw light. And I'm going to put a giant head. I want a giant head. Hope you can see that. Okay. And then I'm going to come out and I'm going to give them a kind of a smallish body, actually. It's going to kind of come out like a little bit roundy. Okay. I'm going to bring one paw or one arm over on his tummy a little bit. And then I take off this little area. <laughs> Getting cute already. I'm going to put two feet, and see, kind of coming up like this. One oval, and then two ovals. And I'm going to take off the bottom in between the lines on the inside. This time I'm going more cartoony. I'm not going as um, realistic. I'm going to put a little paw here and one, two, three toes. And then the bottom of the pad, one, two, three toes. And then a little arm kind of coming up. This one's going to go up like this and around. And since this one is up, you will see the bottom. Little toes. <laughs> and then I kind of like to go super big on the ears. Kind of come out. You know, and you can make them however you want. I'm going babyish here. Little baby. And on your pencil drawings, you guys, you can always, you know, when we get to the um, outlining part, you can always change things up a little bit. And then I'm going to put my nose in. This time I'm going with really small dot eyes, but you guys can do those cute, adorable kawaii eyes or however you want. And then I'm going to give him a little baby smile down here. Just really cute for now. Now over here on the other side, I'm going to move this stuff. Oh my goodness, I got too much stuff over here. I am going to do my baby sloth. And he's going to have about the same size head. Maybe a little smaller. Okay, got that going on. Same kind of body, so that they kind of look like, you know, they're similar, but a little different. Okay, and you can go real sketchy with it if you want. I'm just kind of going with the fat, the fat baby look. <laughs> and this time his legs are going to come out this way. I'm going to put one out this way. And then I'm going to go out this way. And you can make it up however you want. This one's going to be a three-toed. Three-toed, three-toed sloth. That's what I am. And then I'm going to have this arm come out here, kind of a long arm, and in the front. But you can put them up, down, you decide. And then take your eraser, erase on the inside. And my other arm is coming up, like he's waving hi. Hi everybody, my name is Andy, and I'm a sloth. <laughs> it's more of just like a silly picture, okay? And then I'm going to make him have his patches kind of coming up, like this, this time. A lot of times I just go straight, but I kind of want to make him... You guys are rocking it. I gotta tell you, you guys are coming up with great ways to do things and changing it up. I love the way you change things up. So, I'm having a little hard time here with my little spot, but don't worry about that. Okay. 
And then I'm going to give him a little ovaly nose. And this time I'm going with just a little face like that. Okay, and I want both of them to have baby hair. I just like baby hair. So I'm going to go a little tough this way. This guy's going to get a little tough this way. And then I need a horizon line. Um, I sometimes do the horizon line first, but this time I'm going to do the horizon line after. So I'm going to put my horizon line. Okay. And I'm going to start putting in, like this is going to be my ground, of course. And I'm going to start putting in a lot of um, vines and things. So, like here's a giant leaf. I'm just going to go giant. Okay, like really kind of stylized. And then I'm going to, I think I'm going to have a vine coming across. And I'm going to have some crazy leaves. Go kind of big because it's a lot easier if they're big and they go behind things than if they're really tiny. And big fills up the space easier. <laughs> so I really like that. And then let's see, I want to put some big leaves back here, like right behind them. I'm going to go up here, right behind. Let's go behind. I'm kind of crazy with it. Put another one back here. I don't even know what kind of plant that is. I'm making it up. Okay, so you guys just kind of make it up. All right, so the ground is going to be easy. I have a lot of sky. Got all that going on, and we're going to outline. Okay, so get your marker. And what we're going to do is we're going to go all around, but we're going to add some texture when we go around. But don't go too crazy with the texture. Okay, because these are our babies. So I'm going to kind of go around like this. And if there's any lines you don't like, then silly, don't do those ones. Okay, and I'm going to move my eyes a little bit. And I'm going to give mine just a little white sparkle. Oh, I got one eye bigger than the other. i got to go back. I'm going to do my nose. I'm going to change the shape of my nose a little bit. And then when you color it in, try not to smash on your marker. You don't want to smash marker. Okay, and I'm just going to go around like this. If you want to sparkle at the top of your nose, like a highlight, you can just leave it white like that. Give myself a little smile. Come around. Okay, and then I'm going to do my paws in black. I guess if you want to, because koalas do have claws, if you want claws, go ahead and do those. You know the toenails? They're black, so that's easy. I'm going to go around like this. So this is what I call a cute picture. Not very realistic, but cute. And everybody loves cute. I like to give my arm just a little bit of a curve and around. And around. And a little tummy there. And around. Okay, that's looking pretty good. All right. <laughs> And then I'm going to go around this little guy here. And sometimes I like to just keep it simple. And let's see, I'm going to come down. I'm going to color his eyes in. Little nose. I color the nose in black. And then some little tufts of hair up on top. 
I forgot to do the tufts of hair up on the top of my other one, but I'll get to it, don't worry. I'm making my arms a little bit fatter, and I'm going to do my claws all black, my toes. I guess I shouldn't call them claws, they're toes. They're toes, people. Not claws, they're toes. Yeah, Miss Heidi, what are you saying? Those are toes. Okay, sorry. Sorry, sorry. I apologize to all the three toe sloths out there. All right, up, down, here, go like this, and around up over here. Okie dokie. Oh, this one has a little smile. I'm putting his smile up a little higher, and I forgot his tuft of hair on top. It's up to you if you want a tuft of hair. If you don't want a tuft of hair, don't do a tuft of hair. And then I'm going to do my ground, and I'm going to make my ground a little crazy. Okay, and I think I'm going to add grass to that later, but I'm not going to do it in oil pastel. I'm in a marker right now. Okay, coming along. You guys are becoming leaf experts. Okay, and our vine coming all the way across. And I'm gonna go bigger with my leaves than I even had. Okay. You make them however you want to make them. I'm going around. And I like to put these tall leaves in the background here. They really take up a lot of space. And this one I think I'm going to move over. I have it over there, but I think I'm going to move it over here. Okay. I like overlapping, especially when I'm doing anything jungly or, you know, the animals are living there. I like a lot of layers. That's looking pretty good. All right. Then, oh, I forgot a line here. Through that, okay. All right, put your cap on your maca, and then grab your eraser and start erasing, people. Big time erasing. Oh no, the evil eraser dust is coming back. You guys, I've been having the hardest time with getting rid of my eraser dust. It ends up everywhere, and then I go to get rid of it, and it's in my paint, it's in my oil pastels. I think they're out to get me. No, we're not. Oh, yeah, yeah, see? I know what you guys are thinking. My art teacher has started talking to herself with the eraser dust. She's been in, in her house way too much. <laughs> The erasers are starting to talk to her. <laughs> All right. Oh my goodness. Tyrene. Okay, now, put your eraser down. Get rid of all those little eraser dust. Wipe them off. Oh, I don't even know how I got a smudge already. Don't worry about it. Put that to the side. And get rid of these guys. No, where do you want to go? Yes, you're going. No, we're not. When you're not looking, we're going to come back out. Ugh. Okay, so get rid of all those. Make them go off the edge of the table. Maybe throw them in the trash right now. Okay, so we've got all those awful little eraser dusts gone. Most of them. There's always one lurking around here, so watch for it. If you see one, let me know. <laughs> so <laughs> We always start off with our leaves first. You know the drill. Grab your yellow. Grab your yellow, because now what you're doing is you're using prior knowledge. That means... You are building on the things you've learned before. So yellow, a good coat of nice, strong yellow. And you're going to have a series of paintings, drawings slash drawing slash painting to hang up in your beautiful room or even better, give us gifts. Original art. Worth a lot of money, folks. Worth a lot of money. How small my yellow is. It's so tiny. 
I'm gonna come on my vine too. I'm gonna go down my vine. And then get all this on here nice and yellowy. And this yellow is getting extra small because I've been using it so much. Okay, so I'm gonna have to switch yellows after this leaf. Oh yeah, I can see that situation. Okay, if you have more than one yellow, you can use more than one yellow. I'm gonna switch to my other yellow, this one. And I'm gonna do this leaf. Oh yeah, there's a different color. Nice. And I'm gonna go very carefully around my sloth. Very carefully. There are some artists that Jackie and I follow. And, um, oh gosh, one of them is Mary Blair. She's no, sadly no longer with us. She did um, It's a Small World at Disneyland. And now there's another guy, his name's, I think his name's Jimmy. Jimmy Chow, I think it is. I'll have to ask Jackie. Anyway, down in downtown Disney, there is an art gallery. And, oh, in that small spot. And he does the coolest um, pictures in watercolor and pastels and sometimes um, with the uh, graphic design on the computer. And he's got this really cute style and I just love his pictures. So I'll have to look up, I'll have to find his name exactly. So here we go, knock those off. Oh my goodness, look at all those evil, they're evil. Scoot them to the side. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Alright. I am going to go with a really, I'm going to try and find my darker green. And this is, oh yeah. See, when you put the yellow on first. And I'm going to just kind of put it around the sections like this. Okay. And I'm going to go around this one. I'm going to go darker on this one too. I kind of skipped my lighter green today. And I'm going with a different style. I'm going different, people, than I did yesterday. Okay, so I'm going around here. All along there. I think I want a little bit more. Yeah. All around here. Oh yeah, that looks good. A little bit on the tips. Usually I do darker on the the beginning. This time I'm doing darker on the tips. I don't know what's up with me. And I'm gonna go all on my vine. Okay. And let's see, I'm gonna add some blue. So find a nice blue. Oh, look at this one, this is dangerously dark. I'm gonna put some dangerously dark blue in some spots, like right here for some detail. Oh, I bet you that looks almost like black to you guys because the camera, camera's colors are not quite what we call true. Okay, and I'm gonna go a little darker here at the beginning. Anyway, when we go to Disney, which we are, of course haven't been to, in a while. I love going to the animation studio and doing those draw alongs. I have so many things from there. Okay, now I've got this. Now I want to go back to my yellow. Go back to my yellow and I'm just going to blend it. You can use your finger. Oh, that looks so pretty. And it makes it kind of a smushy mess. Yeah. Um, sometimes I'll use my finger, but my finger can't get small like that. And sometimes I'll just come along and use my oil pastel, but look at what happens. <laughs> what a mess. Clean that off. My word. My word, people. Okay, now I'm going to smush this all together. Oh, yeah, there you go. Smushies. Yep. 
You want to, it's called blending, shading, if you will. And I'm just blending it on there, getting it to move. Sometimes with oil pastels, you're not going to believe this, but oh, I got all these crumbs. Sometimes with oil pastels, they will dry overnight. I know it doesn't seem like they're wet, but they will. They'll dry a little more overnight, and then you can add even more to them. Okay, now i got to worry about these big guys here. And I'm going to do those a little bit different, but I don't have a whole lot of colors. So I'm going to go with the lighter green. Okay, you decide. I just like to change it up a little bit so my whole jungle doesn't look all the same. Now this one in the back here, I'm going to have to make this darker because that's on the background. Okay, and I'm just going to go like this. Get some. And as you work on it, as you're getting older, folks, you're going to want to start adding more colors. This time I'm going to go with a different blue. And I'm just going to outline it down here. Okay, and I'm going to go up. And the blue with the yellow, you guys know your colors. Blue plus yellow makes green. So when those two mix, mix together, I'm going to go a little bit dark here. There's a little dark area right in here. This back leaf, I want to make it darker than my front leaf. And this one back here too. So try to see what you can do about making things in the back. So a tad darker. Okay. It's going around like this. Okay, and then I'm going to go back to my light yellow and I'm going to blend it in. It's going to go around like this. Okay. All right, that's looking cute. Cute, cute, cute. Okay. So my ground is also going to be green, but I don't want to color all that. So what I'm going to do is right along here, let's get some green and let's outline our horizon line. Okay, we'll keep our sky away from our, our um, animals and our ground. Okay, so we're going to go like this and put it in there good. And if you want to mix it with like another green, so you don't have just one. Kind of come down like this a little bit just to give it a little extra color. I just love color. I guess that's because I'm an art teacher. And so I like a lot of color on there. Okay, our koala. I'm going to make my koala, my baby, it's going to be gray and he's going to be brown. And so I'm going to grab my gray. If you don't have gray, you can mix black and white. You can go around with black and then go over it with white. Okay, but I'm just going to come around and I'm just going to go around like this. Oh my goodness, I have an ant. That ant, I don't know if you saw that. Okay, uh oh. There's never just one ant, you guys. <laughs> Summertime. All right, and I'm going to come around his head. I'm going to do his little baby tufts of hair. Come all the way around. Okay, going around. If you want to mix in some black, I think I'm going to put a little bit of black in here too, but we'll see. I'm going to come around like this. His little arm. Around here. Around his tummy. Around his arm. I like to put a little extra right in here. I to pick baby color, baby gray. And then come underneath here. This will be a nice shadow. Make it a little bit darker underneath his neck area. I'm going to make it a little thicker right in here. You can even take your finger, you guys, and go like this and smush it a little bit if you want. Like a little shadow. I'll put a little bit inside, a little extra inside his ears. 
little extra inside his ears here. And then I'm just going to rub it a little bit, just to rub it a little bit. Not too much. Okay, now he's looking cute. We could just leave him like that. He looks so cute. Okay, for this guy here, you can pick um, the brown, which I'm going to do, but you could also pick yellow. You could do the goldeny color. There's a rusty color. But I'm just going to go ahead and outline him in brown. One around. Around this leg. Here. And do these hairs up here. They stay. Okay, so I'm just going to keep going like this right up in here. Okay, around. Down the tummy. Around his legs. Go around his little eye thing. I'm going to run that a couple times. That's cute. That's really cute. All right, now we have to get ready to paint. Okay, friends, so we gotta get, oh my goodness, you know what? These eraser dusts, I think they're coming to get me, you guys. They're all over the place. Like Every time I think I get rid of them, they're back. No, we're not. Oh no, see, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now get your paintbrush in the water, and we're going to put some water on. For me, I'm going to do my sky red and orange, but you can do your sky whatever color you want. So put some water on whatever color you want your sky to be. So for me, that's red and orange. I'm going to try something crazy today. And then I'm going to do some yellow in my ground, which you know I'm going to mix with some green, which you know I'm going to add maybe some blue. My goodness, I'm going to have almost everybody. The only one that I'm leaving out is purple. I'm going to use some brown for my sloth. The scary part is I'm going to use some black for my koala. <gasps> so scary. We're not going to use the black first, though. Okay. And then, I hope you put all your pastels and crayons away. I always forget to tell you that. Okay. I am actually going, oh my goodness, so since my koala is gray, I'm not going to, and my sloth is brown, I'm not going to start with those. I'm going to turn it upside down. What? She's starting with her sky first? I know, crazy, huh? And I'm going to start with my orange parts, kind of here, and red is going to be up in here. So, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get, oh no, look at, there's one of those eraser guys. Get out of here. Get. <laughs> so I'm going to put some water here first. Let me get some orange. Oh, yeah, that looks good already. I'm going kind of crazy with my colors today, you guys. I, I just was feeling like an orangey sky. Orangey red sunsetty sky. Ooh, that's pretty already. Now, if that's orange there, I'm going to put some orange over here get it going on in here. I'm a little nervous with this orange. I gotta use the tip of use the tip of your brush to get in those small zones. Tippy tip. Okay. Yeah, and I'm just going around. So relaxing. Bring my orange up here. Really close to my ears. Okay. And then one more section over here. Okay, and I'm just going to bring it way up here. Okay, oh, maybe a little bit right up here above my sloth. And right up here above my koala. Koala. You're so cool. My gosh, it's been so fun painting with you guys and doing all this stuff all this week. Oh my gosh, so cool. Alright, now I'm going to get my red. Uh, I'm a little bit afraid of my red. <laughs> and I'm going to bring it really close. 
Oh, I should have brought some orange up here. I got a little orange up in here. And I want those two to tap together so you don't even know where it becomes red and where it becomes orange. They just kind of mix together. They meld. Their flavors just meld together. They marinate. And so you want those colors to be able to mix together with the water, but you don't want to go so crazy that your water is running all over your koala. So it's, it's figuring out that right amount of water. And the more you practice with it, the better you get. Sometimes kids will say to me, Miss Heidi, well, we already painted some flowers, or I already did this. That's always the funniest thing to me when people say that. I already did this, so let me get this straight. So since you've gone to Disneyland, you're never doing it again? <laughs> since you ate a hamburger, you're never having another one? That's it? <laughs> since you've... <laughs> so the more you do something, guys... Either the more we love it, and we do it more, or sometimes we do do things one time and we say we are never doing that again. Let me see if I can think of an example. Let me think of one thing I did one time and I'm never doing that again. One time and I never did it again. Um, skiing. I have a disaster on skis, as you can imagine. <laughs> so... I said, okay, that was one time. I'm never doing that again. Well, that's mostly because out of the, I'm never skiing again for the consideration of the rest of the people in the world. I tend to run over other people when I ski. Oops, I'm off on a tangent again. <laughs> so, all right, here we go. Okay, so now my orange. So whatever colors you're picking for your sky, find a spot where they can kind of run together. And mine's running together right here, but I'm going to add, I'm going to tap some more red just coming into my orange in a few spots so they can just kind of run. When you turn it around, just slide it. And watch out for those evil eraser dusts. We're here. Yeah, they're all everywhere. Oops, I want to put a little tap on water. There. All right, and then wash out your brush. Okay, so I think what we should do is probably paint our ground because our ground is going to be light too. I'm really tempted to paint these guys first, but I know that we're going to use some watered down black for this guy and some dark brown maybe for that guy, and that's going to mess up our water. So let's get a nice coat of yellow going down here. And this is a big area. Usually I paint it with water, but because I want it to look a little streaky because it's grass, I'm not painting with water first. And I'm gonna go right over my toes. Okay, and I'm just, if your paint ever feels sticky, especially since we're painting every day, you get the, you know, some of you that have the semi-moist sets, they have a little bit more, um, it's almost like acrylic paint. And it will get a little bit gooey, so watch out for that. Don't stick your brush deep down in there and make it really gooey. Oh, I'm loving this picture, I'm telling you. You know who's the designer of this picture? You always think it's me, it's not. Miss Jackie always tells me what's cute. She goes, you know what would be cute? And I'm like, what? So, she is the master of cuteness. What? What would be cute? Okay, and now I'm going to get some green. And I'm just going to, oh, I love it when it does that. I'm just going to go streaky green, side to side. I'm not covering up all of my yellow. A lot of it I'm mixing together. Be careful, use the tip of your brush when you're getting close to things. And I'm just letting that yellow kind of peek through. Oh yeah, that looks good. And I'm going to go over here and do this guy. Over. Oh, he's so cute. That's just adorable. You're just adorable. I'm going to go darker green. A little more green underneath. Now I went over my toes and that's going to be a problem because they're they're going to be a little bit, shall we say, less black 
than I'd like them to be. So what I'm going to do is when this dries, you're not going to see this part, but when it dries, I am going to go back into that. Okay, now I've got my green and my yellow on, and now I want to add just a little bit of a blue shadow underneath them, just a little bit. Let's take some blue and let's put a little bit of blue shadow because it is jungly or dark run and don't go crazy with the blue though blue just a little bit okay ooh I like the way that goes it's just a little crazy there okay now the blue mixed with the green of course makes that beautiful blue green some people call that turquoise they do and you'll find those beautiful colors um, apparently when you look at pictures of the rainforest but as I've mentioned before, I have not been there, so what do I know, right? All right. <laughs> now, it looks like I've got like this blue bright shadow here. So rinse your brush, and we're going to add a little bit more of the green. Okay. Just right there where they're sitting. And go back and forth. And back and forth just to get a nice little bit of a dark green. Now I'm going to paint my puddles onto my table. Now when you're in the studio with me I sometimes will spray the back of your paper so that it goes flat and that's why it curves is because it's starting to um, kind of react with the water. Okay our babies I'm going to make really light I want him to be really light brown. Ooh, that's dark. So I gotta add more water. I want him to be baby brown. Baby brown is really light, so I'm gonna go really light. So when it gets dark, just drag it. So I'm gonna drag that all the way. I can paint over his mouth. I gotta go around his nose though, because I left that highlight. And I'm gonna do these arms. I'm going really light. And I'm gonna drag, I'm gonna pick up almost all the color. Look at how fast I can do this because I'm taking all the color from there and I'm moving it over here. I'm going to give him, I'm going to leave a little white tummy, a little bit whitish down here. A little bit white. A little white tummy. Lighter. Okay, and then his legs. Oh, that's looking cute. Okay, Ooh, that's dark. Remember, you can always pull the color off with your brush. So if it gets dark or it goes someplace you don't like it. Oh, that got dark. That got real dark. And I'm going to make him a little bit darker in a few spots. Leave it a little bit lighter there. So I'm going to shade this now. So I cleaned off my brush to shade. And I dry it off. And... I'm just going to take this color off of his tummy because I want his tummy to be lighter, really light. So I'm going to put a little tap of water on his tummy and I'm just going to make it a little softer. You can get away with this with watercolor paper. Watercolor paper is great for shading. See, so see how I made his tummy? So that makes it look like his tummy's a little bit rounded. And I'm going to do that to the middle of his head too. So I'm just going to go like this and try to take some of it off and put a little dab of water in the middle of his head. This is how you shade. And then you just pick it up. Mm. Oh, that's cute. That's such a cute baby. He's adorable. I'm going to go a little bit darker on these legs so that his tummy now if I go darker on the legs, his tummy is going to look even lighter. And then, especially like his armpits, <laughs> this armpit over here, <laughs> I'm going to go a little darker there. And I'm going to drag this up a little bit to make it soft. Now I've been watching you guys. I know you don't think I'm paying attention, but I am. And I noticed that you're getting so good at your shading. It's really cool. I have a couple spots that I missed on my painting of my leaf. So what I can do with that is I'm just going to put a little bit of yellow right in here because I don't want those white spots to steal away. Sometimes a white spot in your picture 
is good if it's a planned white spot like around the eyes or something but if it's but if it's a forgotten spot it's like ha 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 you forgot me all right you guys we're going to take our black now the black it's the last part and we're going to make it into gray so we're going to take some of this i'm going to put it in the lid and then we're going to put oh my goodness look what it did to my water this is why i do black last oh my word and i'm going to mix a ton of water in here ton a ton we can always make it darker folks real hard to go light okay look at this i have one of those awful eraser get out of here we're not going <sighs> little eraser things driving me nuts people we're having a an eraser problem over here at the heidi household okay now oh yeah that looks good okay so now i'm going to paint my whole head this really light gray really light gray so it's black yeah it's black but it's mostly water and i'm going to go around my eyes i have to go around my nose too because i gave myself a highlight otherwise i could go over my nose okay i'm going like this around here okay now i want that head in the middle to be lighter so what i'm going to do is i'm going to wash my brush tap my brush and I'm going to put, take off some of this color here in the middle. I just like them like this. Now to get him to look rounded even more, I'm going to add a little bit more black. I'm going to go, whoa, whoa, I, did, I said a little bit more darker. <laughs> whoa, that got real, that got real out of control real fast, people. <laughs> No worries. It's wet. As long as it's wet, it's okay. And then I'm just going to take my clean paintbrush, dried paintbrush, and just move that around. So I want his head to look soft. Baby soft. That's what I want. Okay, so it's rounded. Okay, let's do our ears. Same thing for our ears. We're going to go around his head. Like I said, when you start practicing more with the paint, you can do this all without the oil pastel. And I like to have a little bit of darkness in his ears. And I'm going to just clean that up a little bit there. But the oil pastels does make our lives a little bit easier. Because right now it's like a safety net. I do like them, but if as you're getting older, you're going to say, you know what, Miss Hattie, I don't think I'm going to use oil pastels. I love them for that, but I think too, without the oil pastels, you have to be um, a little bit of a slower painter. Okay, there we go. Cute. Tummy time. Tummy time. All right, and I'm just going to come down here. And I'm going to give the paint the whole thing. And we're just going to, you can go right over your paws. That's the nice part, is because your paws are black. I guess I could, I could have given him tiny little toenails. That would have been cute. Now I have to wait for him to dry before I give him tiny toenails. I might go darker around his head. Okay, darker around his tummy area. Maybe darker right in here. Okay, so you kind of have to play around with it. Your shadow areas are going to make your tummy look cuter. So like him, I'm going to make his tummy, this one's tummy, whiter. Okay. And I'm just going to go darker around the edges a little bit, not too much. Probably doesn't even show up on the camera for you guys, but I could be painting like this all evening. I better, <laughs> I better <laughs> let you guys go. Okay, make it softer here. And there you have it. You have baby koala and baby sloth saying hi. Thanks for painting with me, guys. You do such a good job. Wait a minute.
you're not going anywhere. You have a mess to clean up. So take your brush and wash it out. You don't want a sad brush. Make it into pointy, please. Thank you. Take that brush, make it into pointy. Take this old wash rag, get a little bit of water. Let's clean out the, our, our watercolor set like this. Okay. Now, when I was a kid, I gotta tell you, I was a messy artist. Still am sometimes. And especially since we want people to support our art endeavors, that means being an artist, we gotta keep our mess cleaned up. So close that up. Get your oil pastels all organized or your crayons all organized. Get all your supplies, put them nicely. You might have a tray or something you keep everything in. I have, let me show you what I have. Oh, it looks kind of dirty right now. I better clean it out before I show you. One minute, let me get the dust out of it. I have this big tub. I don't know if you can see it. Can't put it low enough. And I put all my supplies in this. Of course, I have a giant studio too and a garage studio, so I keep that stuff there. And so keep your stuff organized. And then when you pour this out, I would say go pour this in the plants. Go give your plants a nice drink of water instead of pouring it down the kitchen sink. Sometimes it makes little stains around the edges and the plants enjoy it. Okay, talk to you later. I'm so glad you were painting with me and I'm dying to see your picture.